been around 15 years now. Our team belongs to the WWCFO, which is the Western Women's Canadian Football League. We have so many different girls, women that come to our team that have never played football before. That's when I joined, I've never played. I always just love football. I didn't play flag, touch any of that football before, but just like the physicality of it. So I thought tackle football would be good for me. Some of them have played flag football and just kind of gravitated toward tackle. You can walk onto that field with zero experience and our coaches will make you a football player and our teammates will be there to support everyone in helping make you a football player and you'll have the best experience. We have a lot of ex-rugby players, weightlifters, soccer players, hockey players. We kind of got a mix of everything and then we have some that have never played a team sport before. Our fees for the year to play include pretty much anything you need in order to play with us, minus cleats, a mouth guard, and a girdle that you would need. If people don't even know how to put on their equipment, we go through that process as well. And it's a rental for the year that you use that for. You get your uh, practice pants and game pants, shoulder pads, helmet and then your practice jersey and game jerseys as well. We just take a deposit check from each player and have never had to cash one. At the end of our season, return our equipment, you get your check back and continue to do that process year to year. So yeah, it includes everything. We haven't had to raise our fees and we'd like to keep them there because the one thing that we've been huge on too and I've been huge on, I know, is that I don't want any girl, woman to not be able to play football as a cost. So we are continuously fundraising. We do have a player program where you can enter into and we will help you pay fees or you can take longer to pay fees, but it's never been, I don't want anyone to feel financially burdened by playing. So we follow the amateur football rules. And so there would be no difference from men's and women's. It's full game. <laughs> it's full out. <laughs> yep. There's a lot of moms, there's a lot of people that work jobs that we need to go to every single day. And so it is a very physical sport. It's high tempo, it's fast paced, it is contact. So that would be one of the huge barriers, I think, for a lot of people. But we practice a lot, our coaches are great, they're not going to put us in position for injury. We do off season training to get in shape for a season, so it's not taken lightly. You have the chance of getting injured in your everyday life. We're gonna put you in a position to excel and to avoid injuries. With the rule changes too, you were able to do certain things in football, but they have changed the rules to adapt it to make it more safe. One of the referees told us at a clinic where football rated on concussions. A lot of people would think it maybe one or two, but it was like number seven of sports or something. I forget the exact one, but it's it's not up there. So they've done a lot to change a sport to get away from that stigma for sure. I am so passionate about this sport. Again, can't imagine not playing football. So like I've been playing for 14 years and people ask how many more and I again I can't imagine without it. It's such a good group. Everyone is so welcoming. People play many different sports and sometimes, you know, when you find football, you're like, that's my sport, that was me. And we got such a wide range and diverse group. People hang out on the field, off the field. And we have such a wide age group too, right? So you could be 16, you could be 50. We've had a mother-daughter team play. It's kind of a fit for a lot of different categories, a lot of different age groups. Again, our coaches are amazing. They take pride in coaching women and they've done a really good job on being able to coach women because sometimes we, we do speak our minds. I can't say enough good things about the Calgary Rage and it's a place for women to just be women. We're competitive, just as competitive as the guys are. We like to put our equipment on and get out there and hit and run and show our skills that we uh, all know we have. So it's such an amazing group. You can play for a long time. There's a position for everybody. That's the other thing. There's a position for everybody. 
I'm 5'2", not a big person. We have any shape, size, kind of everything. It kind of encompasses everybody, I feel. I have formed such an extended family and some people that have played over the years. We have an alumni group that kind of helps out and stuff. And so you just stay in touch. Finding the sport is just, yeah, it's been amazing to my life. And I'm just hoping to do that to so many others. And being able to play football is, is huge as a girl, as a woman. Awesome.